farmer friend singer-songwriter Lyle Strickland. And that's farmer friend and jack-of-all-trades Chris Horn. And we're Those Those Taste Bud Guys. But I was picking up singles because I was trying to do a mix six and bring back as many different things as I could. You know. Oh, are we left? <laughs> Actually, we was just having a conversation about this beer that we're about to do today mm-hmm. that I know nothing about. Yeah. I don't know where it came from. I don't know what it is. <laughs> what it says, though, is Smash Potato Smash Pale Ale by Greenbush Brewing Company. Which I honestly just like. Uh, a part because the... Uh, the label colors, in part, just because I really enjoy them. Uh, I just I had mashed sweet potatoes on my mind. I just all I can think of right now, and has literally nothing to do with that. It's an American pale ale. Um, there are. Oh, did you hear that? That was a lot of car. <laughs> <laughs> I hope that comes through on camera. Yeah. So if you didn't hear that, there's a car like burning out or something <laughs> by the studio. Quite annoying. Um, so yeah, so it's an American pale ale. Um, the smashed part, this it gets super interesting, um, which we'll talk about in a minute. Do you have anything you want to say? Yeah, the only reason I agreed to this is because it's our second video of the night, and Law went to the refrigerator, he goes, what else you want to do? And I said, I don't know, and he pulled it, and he goes, where'd I get this? <laughs> what is this beer? And I was like, well, that's the one we're doing then. Yeah. Yep. So, here we are. I genuinely don't know much about this one, so like, subscribe, follow us on Facebook, Twitter, uh, YouTube, all of that good stuff. You got comments and questions. We're going to put together a um, a question and answer episode soon enough. So uh, question or send us questions and comments on uh, those taste bug guys at gmail.com. Yeah. And uh, I don't know. Was there anything else we was going to cover? No, I think that's it. We'll delve right into this thing. This is from Sawyer, Michigan. <laughs> uh, I picked this up. I uh, had a couple shows up there. Wait, wait, wait. Um, Okay, it's a good beer. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Picked this up a little while ago. Um, not too far. Um, but so, it's a smashed pale ale. Oh Whoa! I didn't even get half that beer. You Th- might- that was in the refrigerator, too. That wasn't... Man. This is not a warm beer. What that cinnamon. Yeah, you might want to be a little more gentle than I was. <laughs> what was the other beer that did this? It had the same type of head. Uh, it was that Mexican beer, um, the Mexican craft uh, beer. That's the, right. Uh, That's the, right. Um, the, we'll link it right up here. I'll have to go back and find it. it wasn't, over my head? Or shot it. Well, it's kind of like right mm, here. Let's see how it is. Okay. <laughs> Anyways, uh, same toast style head. Was really just big soapy looking bubbles. Yeah, and lasted forever. Just coated the glass. And it was a, lo- a lager as well. Yeah. When we finished shooting, that was still in the bottom of the glass. Yep. So this is a. Near as I can understand, I, th- I believe this is an American Pale, um, right here, five point nine three percent. I didn't really actually get anything. I think it's all foam. Six, or well, fifty nine, fifty nine point four IBUs. Um, so that makes sense, right, for an American Pale. I don't know what to expect out of this. What is a smashed beer? So this is what's interesting. This is what I keep trying to get to, but I keep stumbling over myself and getting distracted by. Big soapy bubbles. Well, I won't tell you how great it smells then. <laughs> Go ahead, Lyle. Smashed means single malt and single hop. So, basically, near as I can gather, we're not home brewers. That's one of the things we want to get into at some point. But apparently, uh, they recommend that for guys that are getting into or gals. Ain't that what the whiskey is? Single malt? Uh, yes. Single barrel. Kinda. You use one grain, and in this case, you also use one hop. Oh. Huh. So uh, it lessens all of the variables you can have in your beer so that um, you really get to know... Is that that, a legal term, like what bonded was when we... I don't think so. I don't think that there's any, like, there's no, like, regulations on it. No one's checking up. With bonded stuff, there's literally, like, guys guarding the, like, storehouse, right? Right. Right. Not happening here. Man, the head is crazy. Take a sniff of that. Now... I'm not usually a big fan of pale ales and lighter beers, but the nose on this, man, that is garden fresh. It's gorgeous. It smells like potatoes. 
Yeah, it's gorgeous. Where did you say this was from? What part of Michigan? Uh, Sawyer, Michigan. I don't know exactly where that is, to be honest with you. There'll be a map here with a pin sticking out of it <laughs> right now. <laughs> he just loves creating extra work for me later. Yeah, yeah for a 10-minute video, he'll be spending about two hours on this. Oh. This is surprising in so many ways. What? <laughs> <laughs> In, well, this hang might on. be a few minutes longer than ten minutes. This is. It's like good, and then and then I'm not sure, and then it's good again, and then I'm not sure, but it's ultimately good. Okay, the only thing I would say I don't like about it is uh -huh. it's very thin. It is. And very you know thin. I don't like thin-bodied beers that much. But it is hot, hot right now. It's it's August. It's we're drenched in sweat working on the farm. It's got the right it's amount terrible. of malt like I like. I'll keep it turned that way. Right amount of malt like I like. It's yeah. really sweet. Man, yeah, almost like honey. I was gonna say like a like a lemonade, like a really sweet lemonade. Has it? Yeah. I mean, it's not a shandy. Don't get me wrong. It's, nope, it's, it's not, not a shandy. There's, to there's a shandy. no citrus to this at all. But there, but that little hint of like, it's like, hmm, this is sweet, and then it, then there's a tang. Yeah, and the aftertaste is almost like I, I've a little bit grassy or floral, almost like an IPA. Yeah. So that hoppiness is there. Yeah. You told me there was a hop in it. What was it called? Uh, Chinook hop. Chinook hop. I don't know what that means, but they have Chinook hop in them. Um, the carbonation's nice on it. It's like very small. I'm not crazy about this like head. I really wish this would go away. I don't. I don't like the way that. I, I, I bet you. I'm gonna show you. Hang on. I bet you could float a bottle cap on it. All right. Here's the. <laughs> it's uh, it's like an ice cream float. It is. It's. It is. Uh, and I'm going to apologize to both you and Lyle right now for the audio discrepancy that I just caused, and oh. the weird crap that just happened with the lighting. <laughs> it's okay. I'm literally sticking my finger in the beer. It's like. I don't know. Do you think we could float a bottle cap on it? Yeah. It didn't go through. It's sitting right here, guys. <laughs> you dropped that a fair bit. I dropped it. I didn't set it on it. I dropped it. That is impressive. Uh, it's sticky. Yeah, see, the head's real big bubbles, um, but to, when you drink it, it's, it feels nice and like thin, like tiny little. Well, I don't want to drag this out a bunch, but I, I'm actually really impressed with yeah, this. Yeah, and there's some, little, there's some little brown fuzz in there. And you made the comment as we... Started to go on. We peeled the uh, price tag off that beer, which was how much? Yeah, I was kind of, I was, I was kind of complaining about it a little bit because yeah. So I, I was in Michigan. I was, I brought back. That's um, actually what we was talking about whenever we so, started this show. So there's a few things. So one, like this is the same trip that I picked up the uh, shorts, uh, shandy. Okay, so we've our, had this for which our favorite shandy. A few months. A few months. And uh, um, let's see, is there born on date? Are we old? I don't, I don't think it's out of date by any stretch of the imagination, but. So I don't see it. So I picked up quite a few beers on that trip, and I was trying to do like the pick six thing, so I could get different beers to bring back that we don't normally get around these parts. And um, and I picked this one up, and this one was uh, two dollars and fifty cents a beer. I don't know if that was just because it was a. But it's pick six. I'm sure it's just a pick thing. I can't imagine they are. I don't feel like this is a two dollar fifty cent beer. I really don't. I think it was just because they had a whole wall of, of craft beer and you could pick singles and that's an easy way for, I mean, I mean, it is what it is, right? You're getting selection for paying a little more uh, without having to bring loads of beer home. Um, so the liquor stores can charge a little bit more when you're doing pick six stuff, right? Yeah, because you're like $15 a six pack going that way. and I'd, Yeah. I would totally give the, the normal eight and nine dollars for this. I really think I'd, it's a good beer. I wouldn't get 15 but... I would give a, I'd go up to ten on that. That's pretty damn good. Mm -hmm. um, and it's a, it's unique. It's a six percent beer too. So I wonder, is this a product of Greenbush Brewing Company being a really fantastic brewery, or is this very typical of, of the smash, smash beer? Have we had a smash ale? This is our first. I don't guess they have to be. Okay, ales. Uh, let me do they. Let me I don't even mean on here. 
Have we had a smashed beer? I've never never heard the term before until tonight. Okay, so we don't know what we're so. talking about. This <laughs> so I guess if uh, disregard everything you've seen not, over the past several months. No, if you if you're watching and you can comment uh, down below if you know something about this, then you can educate us a little bit. This is kind of what we're here for. Um, yeah. Tell us what this is. Uh, we're we're going to do a little more research as well and find out a little bit more in depth about smashed beers because if this is typical of them, I mean, I guess you like. I want some more. Yeah, I mean, I guess the the concept is right that like, there's not of like, because you know with the craft brew situation right now, there's like these brewers come up with like, like well, this is a tangerine shoe leather wood ale, and you're like those I don't know if those flavors go together. Stone Brewery. <laughs> Stone's good. It is good. But that sounds like something they would make. <laughs> but you know what I'm saying? Like they they just throw all this stuff in, and this is uh, the smashed ale seems to be a thing that's like. This is beer at its most uh, basic components. One malt, I'm, one hop, yeast, water, all that stuff. But yeah. I would kill these. These are great. Yeah, that's, that's a dangerous one. <laughs> so, I mean, I don't know how deep we are. I don't think I went in any tasting notes at all. I just kind of kept saying it was good. Um, <laughs> well, the potato is, is heavy. There's a grassy finish on it. Um, there's that sweet taste on it and man it just glides right back it does gosh that's good beer um i'm sad i only got one of those okay we probably <laughs> didn't do this beer justice with what we've talked about on here but this is good um, though i enjoy taking a beer that we were like we're like i ah, just knock one out real quick like yeah. do a quick little episode and then we're both like oh uh, this is this was highlight of the night for me this, yeah. is, this is a good beer Yep. So you guys get a chance to uh, check You're out. Done. <laughs> I didn't have much. My, <laughs> I got hoes. You lush. You lush. You finished. <laughs> Till next time. Oh no, no, don't, don't leave me hanging there. I don't know this last part. Uh, all right. Well, <clears throat> until next time, whether it be the uh, sudsy beer you're drinking. The f food you're eating, the clothes that you're wearing, or the people you're meeting, grab a buddy and try something new. <laughs> oh man, I'm. Oh.